how these NBA players changed our perception of Euro basketball. With basketball's popularity growing unchecked throughout the world, it'll only become more important for NBA teams to have eyes overseas. In a surprisingly short amount of time, the NBA has become a league where teams that don't focus on Europe are putting themselves behind the curve. European basketball players have contributed their unique cultural backgrounds to the NBA for many years by bringing foreign talent to the team. Whether from halfway around the world or from just over the border, the international community has produced some of basketball's greatest players. Veteran players such as Tony Parker and Dirk Nowinski are known to be legends of the sport, dominating in the highly competitive nature of the NBA. Coming from France and Germany, they've altered the NBA's foundation by bringing with them unfamiliar cultures and playing styles that are difficult to defend. Just look at the 2022 NBA Draft. Paolo Panchero is the first European player picked at number one since fellow Italian Andrea Bargnani was the top pick in 2006. In that draft class, 12 players with a connection to Europe were drafted and some with particularly challenging names to pronounce. Paolo Panchero, Jeremy Sohan, Uzmani Deng, Nikola Jovic, Gabriela Prasida, Khalifa Diop, Musa Diabate, Ismael Kamagate, Matteo Spaniolo, Carlo Matkovic, Yannick Nezosa, and last but certainly not least, Hugo Besson. But of course, there were high-profile lottery busts like Nicholas Skidishvili, number 5 overall in 2002, and Darko Milicic, number 2 overall in 2003, which may have scared a few teams away from taking the Euro plunge. This brings me to a realization and a eureka moment that NBA isn't the same anymore. The NBA is better off for its contact with European basketball, if only because the comparison between the two emphasizes some of the flaws of the American system. But that's how new ideas work in every discipline. The more exposure you get to new ways of thinking, the better your thought processes become. Let's play Full Court Baby, your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. Five of the top 10 players for NBA MVP are European. The Joker at number one, the Process, Embiid at number two, The Greek Freak at number three, Luka Magic at number five, and Demontis Sabonis at the eighth spot. Someone needs to give this guy a moniker, but Shaq was too fast and came up with Lithuanian lasagna. There has been a long-standing disparity between how NBA franchises regard European and American draft prospects. The failure of a front office to sign a top European prospect drew much harsher criticism than the passing up on a top American player. Nick fans unanimously booed in 2015 when their team drafted Chris Tapp's Porzingis. Bucks fans also booed in 2013 when their team drafted Giannis Antetokounmpo. Maverick fans, however, collectively wept tears of joy when their team drafted Luka Doncic in 2018. National media outlets universally proclaimed Dallas the winner of the draft, and it wasn't particularly close. While African Americans still make up more than 73% of the league's players, two European stars, Greek Giannis Antetokounmpo and Serbian Nikola Jokic, have won the last four regular season NBA MVP honors. Jokic won his second straight MVP these past seasons in 2021 and 2022. Ante Tecumpo, who finished third in voting in 2022, won the honors outright in 2019 and 2020. Adding to that international onslaught, Cameroon native Joel Embiid finished second in the voting this past season, and Slovenian Luka Doncic came in fifth place. While NBA basketball, in the broadest sense, remains heavily dominated by Americans, Europeans have, however, increasingly made basketball even better. Luka Doncic Doncic delivered a transcendent performance fans have rarely ever seen in NBA history. 60 points, 21 rebounds, and 10 assists to lead Dallas to an improbable comeback win over the New York Knicks. At 23 years old and his fifth NBA season, 
Doncic is a long way from seeing a statue in his likeness in Dallas, but performances like Tuesday night lay the foundation for such an honor. 60 points, 21 rebounds, 10 assists. Luka is the first player to reach at least 60 points, 20 rebounds, and 10 assists in an NBA game. James Harden has the only other 60-point triple-double in league history, and he did it with 11 fewer rebounds back in 2018. Doncic posted only the fourth triple-double in league history with at least 50 points and 20 rebounds, joining Wilt Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor. No player had hit those marks since Wilt in 1963. Yes, 54 years ago. Doncic not only set career highs in both points and rebounds, he broke Nowitzki's franchise record for the most points in a game, as Doncic posted his second 50-point game in just a five-day span. How many more of Dirk's Mavericks records will Luka break over the course of his career? Domantas Sabonis Honestly, it's just cool that there's another Sabonis playing basketball. Demontis Sabonis is having an incredible season and is an all-star lock this year. Not saying that people don't think he's an all-star, but he's having the best season of his career. His current averages are 18.8 points per game, first in the league in rebounding with 12.4 rebounds per game, and 7 assists per game, while doing this with a staggering 61% field goal average and 36% from 3. No wonder he's in the top 10 of the MVP ladder. Sabonis has been one of the most underrated players these last few years. Many King fans blame Jokic, as they feel Sabonis is in Jokic's shadow and therefore does not get the same recognition for being a great passer for a big man. The two-time All-Star big man went from a developing perimeter forward to a talented, bruising interior big man during five seasons with the Pacers before the team traded him to the Kings back in February. He grew significantly with the blue and gold, both as a player and person. And now he's one of the premier talents in the NBA. The Greek Freak Giannis Antetokounmpo is in his 10th NBA season. And even with the two MVPs under his belt, 2021 to 2022 has been the best offensive year of his career. It's fitting then that it's the season in which he breaks the Milwaukee Bucks all-time scoring record previously held by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's even more fitting, maybe they could add it to the Disney movie, they're really making one, that he did it with a step back three. It's literal visual proof that even with all he's accomplished, Antetokounmpo refuses to stop getting better. Giannis broke the franchise's all-time scoring record on a step back three in a win that he sealed with two free throws. That speaks to Antetokounmpo's mentality. He has no fear of missing a difficult shot in a critical moment. He airballed free throws in the playoffs with opposing crowds screaming and counting how long it took him to shoot. And then he got fouled and went right back to the line. He loves what he has done in the past, which gives him confidence. And Giannis can go out there and execute without thinking, without having self-doubts about himself or thinking he's not good enough. Personal achievements are nice, but for Giannis, Breaking his franchise's all-time scoring record, one held by the player who also held at one point the NBA's all-time scoring record, doesn't matter if you don't win. The goal in his mind? Championship. The Joker. We see the big man as a non-athlete in a way, a big lumbering wall meant for devouring rebounds, setting bone-crushing screens, and throwing down dunks over smaller, weaker players. But somewhere, in the swamps of Serbia, a monster has emerged. He is tall. He is wide. He is not traditionally muscled, unable to jump all that high, but oddly aware of everything happening around him. His magical hands ready to dish, dribble, fire off to an open man, be he cross court or simply somewhere defenders aren't. He is also unlike any basketball player who has ever set foot on an NBA court. Watching him excel is like the Martian Manhunter coming to Earth, reading one or two books that describe basketball without ever actually watching it, transforming into a big, beefy body and then dominating night after night with a complete understanding of reality, but almost no understanding of how basketball has been played for the last 40 years. In Jokic's hands, and from his feet, 
Basketball is made into something different and strange night after night. A dramatic game-saving block becomes an odd-looking giant penguin wing slap. Spin moves in the post happens in slow motion, finishing with his feet affixed to the ground. The only conventional modern aspect of his game is his decent three-point stroke, which is... 1. A sentence that would have sounded insane a decade or so ago. And 2. Still weird because he doesn't jump when he shoots them, flying square in the face of every shooting coach's advice. Embracing the uniqueness of different players' perspectives worldwide has allowed the NBA to grow and evolve. Stigmas around European draft prospects likely won't be eliminated soon, still. The young wave of Euro stars Porzingis, Antetokounmpo, Jokic, and Doncic will make GMs think twice before passing on the next touted Euro prospect. Regardless of which side of the ocean is more NBA ready, the league itself wins. The NBA has never seen such a volume of European talent producing like this at the same time. Meaning, the future is in safe hands. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel.